Okay, this is going to be a video to show how to do the foam airplane. It's the uh, project I do for the flight unit in my gateway to technology class, which is part of uh, Project Lead the Way. And uh, it can be used in any other uh, class, uh, even science class, to show flight or something like that. So uh, if you want to give it a try at your school, go ahead and uh, watch the video and learn how to do it. The material that I like to use for the gliders is fanfold insulation. Uh, a company called Allside sells this American Exteriors brand. They also have their own brand as well. Either one works. Um, and again, the name of it is fanfold insulation. I'll zoom in on it right here. It says fanfold siding underlayment. I like to use these metal rulers. They're really thin. And uh, the reason I do that is so I avoid any exacto knives because uh, the worst injuries I've seen have been from uh, kids with exacto knives. So these rulers work just as good, and you can't cut yourself with it. So uh, watch uh, so I can show you how to separate the pieces. Uh, so it's the only thing that's holding it together is the skin. So while it's folded over. I'll bring the ruler in, in between the two pieces, and just cut it apart by sliding the ruler. And, uh, cutting it apart like that. So that's all you have to do is separate one piece off, and then uh, cut a couple pieces out of that for the students to use. Right, the size of material that I give the students is uh, two feet wide and uh, it's about nine and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those pieces and I'm going to lay it on here to make sure that they're all the same size. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the corner of the ruler and I'm just piercing through the top layer of the plastic. After I've done that, all I have to do is pick it up, kink it, and I flip it over, and just keep uh, following that pattern. So I'll follow that one, crack it over, cut another piece, make sure you're keeping up against the uh, previously cut one. Now you don't have to cut all the way through, you just have to keep everything lined up and just break it and wall up. So there you go, enough for five students out of one piece. Okay, so out of that piece, that's two feet by nine and a half inches. Um, so two feet and then nine and a half. Um, you're gonna use uh, about three inches or three and a half for the wing. So that's going to be the wing. And then for the body of the airplane, you need two pieces to make it more uh, sturdy. And I like to go from two inches to one inch. So the front of the airplane is going to be two inches, and as it goes towards the back, it's going to be one inch. And then the other piece of that, you're going to have two inches, and it's going to taper down to one, like that. So both of those pieces will end up being the body of the airplane. And then the last piece, uh, you can use that for the tail fin. So you have like the tail right there. And I would say to use uh, at least a, a foot for that maybe 14 inches and then you can cut a piece for the other part of the tail fin that comes up. The rest will be scrap that you can just throw away. Now I'm going to show how to cut out those pieces. Uh, I have a board here to help guide my ruler and here's our raw piece here. 
So I'm going to use about three and a half inches. So see where that is. I'll make a little mark with the ruler there, and then I'll measure three and a half inches over here. Make a little mark there. And I'll put the uh, board on there. While I'm holding it down. All I'm doing is piercing the skin. You don't have to go all the way through. I'll show you that really close here. So it just cracks open. Now it still has the skin on the other side. All we have to do is fold that over. Then with a ruler, just give it a whack there while it's folded and just come all the way through. Sometimes it gets caught up, just give it a whack. It should work out just fine. So this is going to be the wing. Now I'm going to cut two of the body parts going from one inch to two inches. So I measure one inch here. And it doesn't matter which side you do it on. So one inch there. And then two inches over here. I'll use that board. Actually, after this point, I could use the wing as my ruler for or my guide, but the wood is more stable, sturdy. So one inch to two inches. So it's going to be tapered there. Here's the skin, crack it open. Just like that. Now what I'll do is I'll take this piece and I'll flip it over. So I have it the opposite way. And I'll actually use that to mark the two inch there, and then the one inch over here. And I could even use that as my, as my guide. Just make sure it doesn't flex. careful on that small part. And just like that. Now the rest of it is for the tail fin and uh, the up part of the tail fin. I'm going to hot glue these two pieces together. Okay, a lot of students like to have a shiny airplane so they'll put the glue on the inside of the, the part of the green so I'll just put plenty of glue on here and then glue the two together now they're not going to be the exact same size so I have a little trick to fix that okay what I have here is a board with a old skateboard grip on it works as great sandpaper so I'll just take this and rub it back and forth on here until everything gets even on the bottom and the top one drawback to this activity is the mess all the sanding creates a lot of dust so there's going to be a lot of cleanup Okay, so I have both the uh, the top and the bottom even with each other and make it nice and perfect to be able to, to glue the wings on there.